Wonderful words of life, words of life and beauty. Teach me faith and duty. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words. Wonderful words of life, signal is to the loving call. Wonderful words of life, also freely given, who in us to heaven. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful. Wonderful words of life, offer pardon and peace to all. Wonderful words of life, Jesus only Savior, sanctified forever. Beautiful words, wonderful words. Wonderful words of life, beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Okay, Amen. We are going to turn to the hymn 388. Don't forget the Sabbath the Lord our God had blessed. Three eighty eight. Don't forget the Sabbath, the Lord our God has blessed. Don't follow with the brightest of all the with the best. It brings repose from labor, it tells of joy divine. It beams of light descending with heaven. Welcome, welcome, ever welcome, blessed Sabbath day. Welcome, welcome, ever welcome, blessed Sabbath day. Keep the Sabbath holy and worship Him today. Sabbath day. Welcome, welcome. 
we are going to sing 626. In a little while, we are going home. Let's begin. Let us sing a song that will cheer us by the way. In a little while we're going home. For the night will end in the everlasting day. In a little while we're going home. In a little while, in a little while, we shall cross.
song. I sing a love song to Jesus in moments like these. I lift up my hands. I lift up my hands to the Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. Remain standing for our call to worship. Our call to worship this morning comes to us from 850. It's taken from our hymnal, 850. When you are dear, let me hear you say amen. We will read together of the two, one, two. I will trust in God and feel in love forever and ever. I will praise you forever for what you have done. In your name I will hope, for your name is good. I will praise you in the presence of the saints. The church is now called to worship. As we come into your presence, cast the gates of praise into your sanctuary to stand in face to face. I looked upon your countenance and see the fullness of your grace and i can only bow down and say you are awesome in this place mighty god you are awesome in this place have a father Father, you're awesome in this place. As we come to lift you up, may your sweet Holy Spirit tabernacle with us and draw us close to you. May you register our concern, our thinking, our thought, ever, our everything on you. Because you're an awesome God, we pray in Jesus' holy name. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord today? Amen. Let me hear you say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. It is a joy to be in the house of the Lord. What do you say? Amen. Want to use this opportunity to extend a warm welcome to those of us who are worshiping with us today. Those who are in the congregation, our visiting friends, and those who are worshiping with us today online. 
we welcome you to our worship service today. I hope that by the end of this day when the sun would have set, that receive the blessing that we are so much in need of. The Father welcome you, the Son welcome you, and the Holy Spirit welcome you. And we look forward for that day if we remain faithful to Jesus Christ when the entire heavenly host will welcome us home to our Father in glory. May you receive the blessing as we worship today. I'm going to invite you to stand once again for our formation of faith. Just before you stand, let me just quickly do this. All right, so we don't have much announcement for today. You can be seated, sorry. Not much, not much announcement for today. I'm going ahead of myself. However, I was asked by our Held of Rebuilding Committee to share with us as a church, as I did share with us this morning, for those of us who are here, that construction begin on our church ramp, and we also want to get some wind in. And so we just want to say to you that if you want to contribute to this cause, and you should want to contribute to this cause, you can feel free to do so. Um, if you want to put your little thing in a envelope, you want to contribute to the real tree ramp, then you can put in a envelope and write that that is for what it is for. Or you can just write a C on the envelope, right? So we know that these things is going to church building. And if you want to contribute to the window, you can just put in a envelope, a window on it, or you can just write a W. We know that is what it's for. For those online, you know um, you can reach out to any one of the elders, and at appropriate time, open trust that um, our technical team will share with you the information, whether it is their account, or to who you can reach out to if you would like to give a donation to this cause. We want to build up the temple of God so that we can feel comfortable when we come to worship God in the beauty of holiness. All right? So consider that as we go forward. All right, at this time, I'm going to invite you to stand. So that's our announcement for today. Invite for you to stand at this time as we go in our affirmation of faith. Our affirmation of faith come to us today from Isaiah 58, and we'll be reading verse 13, verses 13 to 14. So that's Isaiah 58, and we'll be reading together from verse 13 to 14. Isaiah 58, 13 through to 14. When you are dear, let me hear you say amen. I don't believe that all of us are there as yet. So, I'm going to ask for us to find in your Bible Isaiah 58. Look at verses 13 through to 14. This is for our formation of faith. Are you there? It sounds like we are getting there. Can we go together after two? One, two. If thou do what turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure and my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words, then shall thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the herd and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Amen. Spoken hit. That's for affirmation of it. You may be seated. We invite for our ushers to come forward at this time. All right, so as I did share an announcement, if you have your little bit with you and you want to give towards the cause, you can do so. Please put it in an envelope if you're going to give towards the building. If you just throw it inside the, as loose offering inside the 
offering bag, it is going to cause a problem because that will treat it to be offering. And of course, we know that all those that share, right? So that will not go directly to the project. If you want to contribute directly to the project, then you need to put it in a little envelope. There is envelope on the and that side of the church, one at the back. And so you can just indicate to somebody and somebody can pass it to you. All right? As I always share that this is a time that all of us can get the opportunity to give to the cause of God. As I always also share, a lot of us may not get a visa or a passport, but this is where you can give and your give towards the ministry of God will touch life, the life of those overseas. Not just only Jamaica, but overseas we would have listened and we would have heard through the course of this week that Florida again again you know and i strongly believe that some seminary adventists must suffer during this because we are all over right i believe we are brothers and sisters there i would have heard about some of our brothers and sisters those that i hear about that who are seminary adventists they are doing okay so far but brethren we do need to do what we can do to help those not just only in florida but all over the world. And so today, when you contribute to your tithes and offering, then it helps to have the ministry of God. As our hushes go forth today to collect from us our tithes and offering, give to the cause of God, because I know that the Lord will open the windows of heaven and will pour out a blessing that you and I will never have room enough to receive it. However, before they go forth, let us bow our heads for prayer. Father in heaven, thank you. Thank you for your people today. We thank you for our hushes. And Lord, as we are about to go and collect from your people what you would have lent to us, oh Lord, help us to give towards your cause. And Lord, for those of us who may not have to give today, help us, Lord, not to feel bad, but instead, dear Jesus, to understand that the greatest gift that we can ever give to you is not so much money, but to give our hearts. And so, Lord, we pray today, Lord, as we give towards your cause, that we'll give willingly and that we'll give because we know that you are the great life giver. Be with us even now as we proceed to collect your tithes and offering. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The ushers will now proceed to collect from us our tithes and offering. The Lord is blessing me right now, right now. Oh, the Lord is blessing me right now, right now. He woke me up this morning and started me on my way. Right now, right now, oh, the Lord is blessing me. Right now, right now, He woke me up this morning and started me on my way. The Lord is blessing me right now. Blessing me, is blessing me, is blessing me, is blessing me, blessing me, is blessing me, is blessing me, is blessing me, the Lord is blessing you and you. We give thee but thine own, whatever thy gifts may be, all that we have is thine, O oh Lord, our trust, O oh Lord, from
remain standing for a hymn of praise. Our hymn of praise today comes to us from eight, from six o eight, six o eight. Faith is the victory that overcome the world. This morning, I want for all of us to blend our voices together as we sing this hymn, knowing that it's all because of God's grace and mercy while we are here today. 608, faith is a victory that overcome the world. Let's begin. And camped along the hills of light, he Christian soldiers rise and press the battle ere the night shall veil the glowing skies against the foe in veils below. Let all our strength be heard. Faith is the victory. standing for scripture reading. Sister Taylor will be doing our scripture reading for us today and our scripture reading has come, come to us today from Revelation chapter 22 and verse 12. there yet? And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Amen. Amen. We have just sung the hymn that faith is the victory that overcome the world. And we have just Learn, and we have read it from the word of God. Jesus said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to their work shall be. At this time, we have the opportunity to make it right with God. And as the songs say, the time to get right with God, to do what? Come and do it now. Every single one of us, have the opportunity this morning, very privileged, 
Don't need to take a bus or a taxi to go and find any priest to confess to him. This morning, every one of us have access to the throne of grace through Jesus Christ. And prayer is a simple form of speech. Talk to God like to a friend. This morning, we're happy to have with us Sister Blackwood. And today, she's going to intercede in behalf of all of us. But while she's praying, we too need to pray. Because I know and I still believe that prayer, God still hear and answer prayer. And so as Sister Black would come to us this morning and our praise team will sing that prayer song, I'm asking every single one of us, our children, everyone, to be in the attitude of prayer because certainly this highland needs Jesus. We need Jesus, brethren. There are so much that is taking place in our communities, in the school, on the roads, accident of various kind, shooting of various kind, disaster, it is going on. Not that we're going to pray for those things to stop because the Bible tells us that we're in the last days, but we're certainly going to pray that the Lord will give us the strength, the endurance to go through this situation. And not always going to take us from the fire, but he promised he will be with us in the fire. And so this morning, as we meditate on what Jesus has done for us, and as Sister Black would come and intercede on behalf, and how we have, let us turn our eyes upon Jesus as the praise team sing our prayer song. Enter my chambers, be free, Holy Spirit. Speak to me gentle as I close the door. Heavenly lover, let thy presence over a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear, what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Dear God and everlasting Father, we come before you this morning, guilty of a lot of things, dear God. Father, we pray for peace and we pray for justice, but what role do we play in this, dear Father? Our feet are swift to carry mischief, dear God. We have itchy ears. Our mouths speak of things we know not of, dear God. And we tear down one another, dear Jesus. Yet we ask for peace. What kind of peace do we want? What kind of peace are we going to have if we are quick to crucify each other, dear God? Father Jesus, we pray for health and we pray for strength. But when you bless us, dear God, what do we do with your blessing? What is the purpose of us of your, in our lives, dear Jesus? We use your blessing to guard ourselves until we are sick, dear God. We come down with hypertension. We come down with diabetes. We suffer from pain of all kinds, dear Jesus. We don't help one another, dear Father, because we store everything for ourselves. We are selfish. Yet we want your blessing, Father. Father, I know that we are not worthy of your grace, but mercy still abounds, dear Jesus. Father, we come before you at this moment and we kneel at the cross and we empty ourselves, dear Father, because you cannot pour wine into dirty vessels, dear Jesus. Father, we ask that you will forgive us of our many sins, dear God. Clean us up, dear Jesus, and help us to realize that humility is a form of godliness. Help us to humble ourselves before you, dear God, and to realize that without you we are nothing. Help us to be our brothers and our sisters keepers, dear God. Lord, give us a heart like thine. Give us a heart like thine, dear God. Help us, Lord, to be caring and sharing, dear Jesus. 
Help us to use our time wisely instead of spreading gossip and malice, dear God, to spread your words to those who need to hear it, dear God. Let our hands and our feet be a service to you, Jesus. Let us be eyes for those who cannot see, ears for those who cannot hear, lips for those who cannot speak. Father, we thank you that you're merciful because we would have all been wiped out and gone. But your grace still abounds. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies upon us, even though we are unworthy of such. Father, we put this congregation before you at this moment, and we ask, Lord, that you will touch each of us individually. Thou knowest our shortcomings, dear God. We are nothing without you, nothing at all, dear Father. But from this day onward, Father Jesus, we ask that we will allow you to be the center of our lives. Our going out and our coming in, dear Jesus, will be dedicated to you, dear Father. And we will go down in sackcloth and ashes, dear Jesus, and confess our sins, because they are ever before you, and we cannot hide them from you, dear Jesus. Father, we pray for your man servant today who is about to break the bread of life. And we ask, Lord, that the word that you give him will touch our hearts, dear God, and will not be the same when we leave this place. Father, we thank you that there are still people who are praying on behalf of us, dear Jesus. Thank you for those who petition your throne for us every day, dear Jesus, morning, noon, and night, because prayer work wonders. Father, I give you the honor, the praise, and the glory for standing here to pray on behalf of your people. Yes. Have mercy upon us, dear Jesus. Yes. Have mercy, dear Father, and help us to surrender all to you, dear Thank God. You. It is all or nothing. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer and let our prayer come unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All in him is all I long for for over four hundred years. There was no preaching, no message, no prophet. There was not a word. There was a famine. But the Lord would have seen fit and finally decided to take his people out of bandage. God people was whip. There was given straw to make brick. But they cried out to God and the Lord hear and send a deliverer. As the Lord lead the children of Israel through the wilderness. You oftentimes communicate with them. One of so many means is that in the day, you use a pillar of cloud. Wherever the cloud moves, then the people will move. Wherever direction the cloud goes, they go. Cloud stop, they stop. At night, you will give them a pillar of fire. So they know that the presence of the Lord was always with them. And one of the statements that the children of Israel always say is that, Moses, you go and talk to God for us. Whatever he say, we will do. Oh, quickly, when trouble arise, when problem arise, even when God work miracles after week, miracles, they often forget what the Lord have done. They forget so easily that the Lord protect them from the serpent in the wilderness. They forget that the Lord prepare lunch and dinner for them, manna, fresh manna every morning. They often forget that there was a time 
when fear or harm was behind them and mountain on either side and the Red Sea was before them, that the Lord worked through his servant Moses by saying, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And that Red Sea bubbled up on either side and God people walked through. But yet still with all of those miracles, God people always complain and murmur. Today, we are happy to know that the Lord still have a mode peace. Amen? Amen? And I want to say to us as a church and those online, let us not take the preaching of the gospel or the hearing of these sermon take them for granted. Because the time is coming when we will not so privilege to have this opportunity to sit and hear the word of God so comfortable. I plead with us, brethren, the word that we hear today may be the final word that some of us will ever hear. Let us ask the Lord to open our ears, our spiritual ears, so we can hear the word of God. Today, we have Elder Harold Bryan with us at Jackson. Many of us are familiar with him and is someone that many of us may not know him as Brother Bryan. Many of us know him by the little name for a little man that called Zacchaeus. Today, it's a name that have a name change. And I'm so happy that in Jesus' ministry, Zacchaeus was anxious to see Jesus. And he decided he was not going to make nothing or no one stop him. And so he climbed up. And thank God that Jesus stopped and said, come down. Because today is salvation come at your house. Sometime, brethren, for us to see Jesus, we need to do what? Climb a little higher. And I believe today that the word that the Lord lay in Brother Brian's heart, that they, when he shared that today, will impress upon us to come up a, a little higher. However, before Elder Brian come to us today to share the word of God, we are going to be blessed with a song of meditation come to us today from Sister Kimmy and company, they will bless our heart as they sing to us. I pray that as they come, we will keep them in our prayers and settle our heart to make way for the word of God. Happy Sabbath, everyone. All I have in these hands and multiply, God, all that I am and find my heart on the altar. Again, set me on fire, set me on fire. All I have in these hands and multiply, God, all that I am and find my heart on the altar again, set me on fire. Set me on fire. Here I am, God, arms wide open. Pouring out my life, gracefully broken. Stands 
strong to the end, you will fulfill your purpose in me. You won't forsake. You will be with you me. You will be with me. Here I am, God. Arms wide open. Oh, pouring out, pouring. All to Jesus now All to Jesus now I'm holding nothing back Holding nothing back I surrender I surrender Your power work in me I'm broken gracefully I'm strong when I am weak I will be free Your power work in me I'm broken gracefully I'm strong I'm strong I will be free Happy Sabbath, one and all. That doesn't sound like Jack's at all. Happy Sabbath, one and all. Praise the name of the Lord. Happy to be in church today. Thanks to Elder Murray for his word of introduction. Thanks to this lovely little trio, Sister Donaldson Taylor's, for that lovely song. Saying to the Lord, here I am. What better offer can we give as individual to the Lord than ourselves? Hello, church. Happy to see you all. I've seen some faces I didn't see the last time I came. I'm just delighted to see you all. May God bless you. May God bless you. Those who are visiting and those who are regular. I won't start calling name and don't try me. I can call name. Right? I'm happy to see you all. You know, I may the first. And yesterday evening when sunset. So when sunset, it's begins today. Am I right? Sunset yesterday, Brother Bailey. Begins today. Some of the time we forget. So when sunset yesterday, yeah, well, I was a few minutes in today, right? And I give my wife what you call a lovely birthday greeting. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. So I, I never forget that you have someone here who was born on the 12th. That was Sister Reese. But today, I heard of Sister Lovelet, who was born on the 12th also. So I said to them, to Sister Lovelet, to be honest, you are try to have a good birthday like my wife. <laughs> so all to the birthday celebrant for the 12th of October, you're born on a lovely day. Keep it up. But we are here today to talk about the greatness of God. Let me see those who come to worship the Lord today. 
if you come to worship the Lord today, put up your hand. You know, I ask the question, it's not just ask for ask sake. It's a fact that some of the time when we get into the house of the Lord, we don't remember that we come to worship. Hello, somebody? I'm not here today, man. Oh, I should have used the man. Some of the time when we get into the house of the Lord, we don't remember that we are here to worship the Lord. Huh? But when we get here, we must remember it's not all there. But we must come with an amount of joy and excitement knowing that we come to meet with our maker and our king. So I ask the Christian again, for those who come to worship the Lord, put up your hand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know. I'm happy you come to worship the Lord. But I must tell you, and you know by this, and anywhere I go, they know by this my love songs. Because I'm excited when I talk about my God. We have come into this house. Gather in his name to worship him. We are coming to his house. Gather in his name to worship him. We are coming to his house. Gather in his name to worship him. Christ the Lord, worship Him, Jesus Christ the Lord. Let's forget about ourselves, concentrate on Him, on worship Him. Let's forget about herself concentrate on one word she let's forget about herself concentrate on him and worship Christ the Lord worship oh yes she Jesus Christ, the Lord, let just lift up all your hands, magnify the Lord, and worship Him. And mother, let just lift up all your hands, magnify His name, and worship Him. Lift up holy hands, magnify his name, and worship Christ the Lord. Worship him, Jesus Christ the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. Time sing, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, Jesus, blessed Savior, is worthy to be praised from the Praise him, somebody. Praise him. 
I know praise Him. Jesus, blessed Savior, His word. Can someone lift your hand and shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Can you shout thank you Jesus? Thank you, Can Jesus. you say praise the Lord? Let me tell you something. When we call upon the name of the Lord, Brother Murray, the devil believes. And what the Bible say? And tremble. Praise God. You see, when we get here to lift up the name, every, every day we must be praising the name of the Lord. Every day we must be lifting up the name of the Lord. But when we come in the house of the Lord to lift up Jesus, it's not a joke business. And we must be excited about the God we serve. Sister Blackwood, if you watch your television or listen to the radio and listen to individual when their celebrity come on stage, you would surprise. They act as if it is God they are praising. And when God's people come together, we all they want to show praise God. I love my God so much. I don't know about you, but I am conscious of the time we are in and the time for the day. I know most we need to move. And therefore, I purpose to talk to us today on a little discourse entitled P.A.D. Is coming. You didn't hear me. Let me see those who love peer there. Let me see those who love peer the weekend of peer. Lord have mercy. Whether it be fortnight, whether it be weekly, whether it be monthly, when peer there are come to him. Hello, somebody. What well, you say? Money in the business. Eh? So you feel good. Are you sure that? You feel good when PD come in. But can I say this to you? PD is coming. Contemplate. Payday is coming. Loving Father, thank you for your saving grace. Thank you for your words of assurance that makes us understand that one day soon, PD must come. Not that it may come, but it must come. Help us to be so ready that when that day come, we will be rejoicing. And more than all, heaven at last will be our home. In Jesus' holy name. Amen and amen. PD, I remember I used to work at an establishment. And I'm not lying to you. I used to get paid fortnightly. And it comes with an amount of joy because some of our fondest expression and our belief and our joy to know that that day is coming when we can do just about all we decide to do because funds would be coming in. Money would be coming in. There are times when Pay day come, whether you stop at the supermarket or at the shop or anywhere because you owe money and they are waiting for the two weeks to come that you pay the bill. So not only you rejoice when pay day come, brother Murray, but those who you owe, of course, because they need the money for their business to run. Huh? Some of, I remember that establishment to be specific when PD come and so hours of the day is coming. The boss would come around, the employer would come around, and the employer would be digging the earth with his toes 
And I don't know far down in the earth he would dig. But he would be digging. The, every time when you see the employer using his big tool. Or his choose point. To dig the earth which is impossible. You know say something go wrong. <laughs> what you call it? No money to really. He would come and he would say, I send, of which I won't call the name. Is I send so and so to the bank to collect, to withdraw the money. But he went late. He can't say anything not there, you know, because the money is here, you know, Taylor. He went late and therefore. He did not get the money. So I'm going to ask you to wait until Monday. People would say your limbs cut. As far as I'm concerned, it's more than your limbs that get cut. Every fiber in your body get cut. Hmm? Because what? No money, no daddy. Permit me to inform you that this is just the earthly peer world clerk or the earthly peer master and missus did something like this because the God that I am acquainted with uh, payday is a must you're not hearing me payday is coming whether you like it or not it must come Jesus of mercy Mm. and whether you believe it or not it must come hear what the word of the Lord said in Revelation 22 and verse 12 who are there you have it in your Bible the scripture reading was wonderfully read by little Taylor what it says behold you did the eight. no man Better more, you know, you're alone, Peter. What the Bible say, beloved? Yes, and my, says the Lord now, he said, his reward is with him to give every man, though you see that there is every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, all of us. Woo! All of us. Behold, I come quickly, he said, and my note. <clears throat> Sorry. There's a word that is called reward. And there's a word that is very close to it that is called award. An award is when the individual you work with or you associate with or the company you associate with or your community that believe you did well in the community and you are this or you are that and they award you. Hello? For what you would have done. They award you. Some of the time you don't do it neither. But because he's my friend, is at the top. It's your friend is at the top. They award you. And some of the time, the rest of members are wondering, some of the other workers, our friends are wondering, then, how do you get award? I want that. So they, because he's your friend, eh, they set up an award for you. Maybe it's one something good you did do in the year, you know. And person are there that did 10 and 20 and 32, you know. But the one who is in charge of that, you know, is not your friend. So I'm not award you, right? So award is there, but reward is different. Reward is you just pay for what you've done. You will be paid for. So there's a difference in award and reward. My Jesus said in his word, it shall come quickly, somebody. Somebody, are you hearing me? And my reward is with me. You know what I love about this? You can ask someone. You can ask your husband, sister, Dan also, to go to your workplace, they know you, and to collect your pay for you. And they would give him. But Bailey, when you was collecting pay, when you was not so old, was 
like, you know, like a lesson age, you could ask Sister Bailey or someone. Any one of us, we can ask someone. Brother Matthew, you know, if you're working at a place, any one of us, we can ask our co worker to collect our emblem up for us. Am I right? Not sure. Yes. And they can collect for you. Your friend can collect for you. You know, somebody. But may I tell you something in this morning? Nobody. Sorry. Not nobody. No one will be able to collect your reward when my God steps out to give every man according as their work. You must collect it yourself. Not only that you collect it yourself, you will not plant bungo and reap corn. You cannot sow a tomato and reap pak choy. I heard someone say that, unless you are thief, say you go thief somebody else who wanna. But the reward, hello, that my God would have come with, will have given to give to everyone, is according as your work shall be. So that tells me that me better do right. Because you can't. Miss Bailey and Brother Bailey and Ernell. Some of you inside here know Rachel. Me grew up with Rachel. Yes, Rupert, you was a little boy. You don't know nothing about Rachel. And my team know Rachel. Right? And my grandmother, Rachel Thomas, would say, You cannot wrong and get right. No matter how you may try it. You cannot hide from the face of the Lord. You cannot wrong and get right. Somebody, you cannot wrong and get. You know it? So nobody believe you. Your friend will know, say you are this and you are that. But he or she set you up. So you will get the best even when you don't deserve it. But my grandmother said, listen to me. You cannot wrong and get right. No matter how hard you may try. You cannot hide from the face of the Lord. I love somebody. You cannot wrong and get right. And the word of God comes to us that we must take. And introspection into our lives. No look upon nobody else's life. Look upon our own life. Because you cannot answer for the other man. When reward time come, you cannot fit in for the other person. You better stand before the judgment of God yourself. I better stand there before the judgment of God myself. Peer the year is coming. Peer the year is coming. And it's not what we believe. You know what I love about my maker and my king as well? We can anticipate anything. We can try anything. They said that if all you have is Jesus, you have all that you need. You're not hearing me. If all you have, I repeat for emphasis, is Jesus, you have all that you need because Jesus is all we need regardless how we may talk regardless how we may look regardless of our social standing regardless of what they said about you or about I or any one of us PD is coming and if we don't practice right, live right, to 
Talk right. Sing right. Heat right. Hawk right. A dawn right. I said, Pity, he's coming. Pastor not seeing me. Church brethren not seeing me. Lord God have mercy. My family not seeing me. So I can't do anything. Behold the eyes of the Lord. You're not hearing me. Behold the eyes of the Lord. Is everywhere. Beholding. The good. And the evil. Huh? I may not answer today, Bennett, but we must answer before the Lord. I may not receive today, but I must receive one day to come. And therefore, the truth remains. If I would have done everything good in my eyes, Say everything good in my eyes. To everybody I can in my belief. Everywhere I can in my belief. The bottom line comes. What did Jesus say about me? Hello somebody. Have we ever stopped to contemplate? What did Jesus say? What will Jesus say? Remember, he's the ultimate paymaster. And remember, me cannot, 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 and will not reap what I did not sow. Huh? So me must reap what me sow. Behold, I come quickly. Some of us are saying, from me a picnic, me hear the same saying. But can I stop a bit? Can I say to you, your timing, my timing, our timing and God's timing is far different. Can I tell you that the hands of the Lord is writing at all times? Can I tell you, tell you that angels are taking record? Huh? So if, I, if it does not come up in this life, it will come up in the life to come. This is why we must never fail to exercise faith in Jesus Christ. Because unless you are faith to walk with Jesus, to live with Jesus, to sing for Jesus, to wrap up with Jesus, to tangle up with Jesus, you're going to fall down. Am I talking to God's people? So regardless what come our way, turn to Jesus. One song right? I say, turn it over to Jesus. Turn it over to Jesus. Ooh, turn it over to Jesus. And you will smile the rest of the while. Turn to Jesus. Yes, my brothers. Yes, my sisters. You can be tossed down by anyone, by anything. But peer there is coming. And it's not what I expect of the day will be. It is what is rightly is. Because my God has never made a mistake. And he will never make a mistake. Eh? We live as we like. We do anything as we like. Eh? Jesus, and we want to make it to heaven. And we mean that we're making it to heaven. But you know what is painful about it? Huh? Me cannot go to heaven as me like. I must go through the word of God. Practice the character of God. Live in likeness of Jesus. And when peer day come, I shall be able to echo from my lips. Lo! I didn't hear you. Lo! 
you ever get up in the morning yet and never have food to eat? I don't know about that. Different people may talk about. Different somebody may talk into. You ever want a job and can't find a job? You don't even know what the next meal for the children is going to be tomorrow morning. Eh? But Jesus, Jesus, did I say Jesus? What did I say? Jesus eh, came through for you. Huh? One some writer said, I've got a roof up above me. And a good place eh, to sleep. Eh. I got food on my table. Am I talking to God's people? And a good place to sleep. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Lord. What a God we serve. I feel like we should sing this song. I've got a roof up above me and a good place to sleep. Food on my table. Oh, and I find my feet. You gave me your love, Lord, and I find for belief. Thank Lord for your blessing. Not all of you singing, you can do better than that. So I've got a roof up above me. And a food on my table. Yes, and truth on my feet. You gave me your love, Lord, and I find formerly. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. One songwriter say, Have the world look upon me as I travel along they say I've got nothing oh, but they are so wrong in my heart I'm rejoicing and I wish they could see thank you Lord for your blessing Oh, and me, I've got a roof up above me, and a sing man, food on my table, and choose. You gave me your love. On a so sunk. Rest. Rest. You think the roof over your head. Are you just get it, sir? It comes from a greatest man. The man who created heaven and earth. You think the food that you ate this morning is all because you have the health and the strength to work? No. Had not God intervened and assist you, you would not eat anything. You think the clothes that you wear is just because of your expertise? No! It is all through the miracle working power of Almighty God. Hello, somebody. You think when you woke this morning, it's your clock that wake you. You think it's a wife or your husband or your mother or your father or your brother or your sister whosoever sleep in the house that wake, woke you this morning? No! Is the great man above. He will be coming one day. And his reward
God is with him to give every man, every woman, every boy, every girl a calling. So we live as we want to live. We talk as we want to talk. We behave all we want to behave. Hello? Jesus, God of mercy. God forgive me if it need to. Even in God's church at times, you have people who keep malice with one another for months and months and years. Too. They would never cheat. How do I reach there, man? Hmm? But the truth, PD is coming. Some of us are too local for some of us to talk to. Him burn me out, man. Him hurt me feeling. And you can't get me to talk to him. Or, or. The story I've told of the pastor. I won't tell you which conference. And I won't tell you which community. Because some of us know almost every community in Jamaica. And all the pastor was trying to get these two sisters to talk. Just to pass on no work on it's just something to say we'd never, never, never talk. Pastor said, No, but this is not right. Remember your soul salvation. And when the pastor get down to the meat of the thing, Brother Bailey, you're not hearing me. When the pastor get to the meat of the thing, tell me how long the sister keep in the malice with the other sister for 25 years. Just something that the other sister said that the other one didn't like and they take it to tax. 25 years. Tell me something. You are going to keep up somebody in your heart. Not even for one night, you know, if you do it. Keep up someone in your heart for 25 years. For one year, for one month, for a week, for one month, for one, go right till it, 25 years. So if you walk, if he or she in your heart. If you pray, he or she in your heart. Even when you go to your bed and lock up in the room, the person still in your heart. And no member say, pay the come. Even the Bible say, do not let. Oh, you know it. Do not let the sun go down on your heart. And we, what, what, what we need to be reminded, you know. Jesus, have mercy. With Adams. Abraham. Bible character. You know what we don't remember? When I speak at this moment, or when I act at this moment, and whatsoever I do at this moment, we don't remember that God is seeing and God is hearing. Are you hearing me? So we keep up. You say if me in your class, eh? You just pass. Aye. If you say I too. But when Sabbath morning come, I want to greet you. Brother Bennett, how are you? Happy Sabbath. And through the week we remember. If we don't live for God in the week, we cannot eat on Sabbath. We must have a relationship. How do I reach there? I say, PD, he's coming. And all of these will come up in period here. Huh? Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Church of God. Brother Murray, I think I should stop the talking now. I think I must stop the talking now. You know what? What I'm happy about? Hmm? Jesus will give us our just reward. It's not what my friend, my wife, my brothers, my elders, my sisters, my auntie, my mother, my father, all of them alive. My friends. Eh? Sorry, Sister Lynette. You are an orphan. But my mother and my father are still alive. Hello? It's not what they believe is best for me. But the bottom line is the seed that I sow. 
I must reap it one day. Whether we want to believe it or not. When my God would have stepped out there to deliver his reward, what will my answer be? What will my answer be? And just for myself, for all of you seated there, for those who have already given your life to God, and for those who have not done it as yet, remember God not coming for me because I'm a member of his church. He's not coming for you because you serve many years elder in the church. Sister B. He's not coming for you because you are elder, Brother Murray. He will be coming for those who have established a relationship with him and keep it to the end. So, one writer say, and the Bible say, the race is not for the swift. You're not hearing me. I heard something alluded to this morning, which is here, and I'm going to say it. It is very sad that when Jesus comes, many of us who are in God's church will hear depart from me. I know you not. And we shall say, but I have done this. Huh? I have gone everywhere. I have seen many people some of the time for one year I've seen 103 people baptized I've given all I can give huh? you have given, this is what we will be saying you know, we have done all we can but the Lord still say depart I never know you Peer dear it's sad it's shameful it's painful but it's the reality. Did I say it's the reality? It's the reality. What will our answer be? I, I, I hate to tell you before I sit. Just before I sit. Time to let go. And let God. In other words, time to let God be your number one. You know why? Time waits on no one. Time stops for no one. Your excuses will not slow down time. Your indiscussion will not delay time. So it's time to let God be your number one. Your complaining will not stall time. Your regrets will not turn back time. So don't waste your time in anger, regrets, worry, and hate. Because time will not cry along with you. You hear me, beloved? It's time to let go of the past and stop worrying about the future. Your only time is no. So make sure you spend your time with the right purpose, with the right deeds, with the right emotion, with the right thoughts and with the right people. Time flies. And that's a fact. That's a fact. Always swear. Spread your wings. And swear with time. Because the time is now. Peer dear. Peer dear. Is coming. Some to eternal life. And some to eternal destruction. Choose which side you want to be on. But PAD is coming. The word of Nelson Mandela says. It seems impossible or all things are impossible until 
it is done. Where will you spend your long eternity? Piety is coming. Amen. Amen. Want to thank Elder Brian for reminding us today that PD is coming. Thank you very much, Elder Brian. I hope and trust that those that is in the hearing of my voice, the hearing of the voice of the preacher, will contemplate on these words. I'm going to invite you at this time to stand as we bring this prophet time to a pause because the Sabbath still continues. And we're going to blend our voices together as the praise team come. And we'll sing 604. And this song in itself is sending a strong message to us. We know not the hour of the master appearing. 604. Let's begin. We know not the hour of the master's appearing. Yes, signs are foretold that the moment is nearing. When he shall return, takes a promise most cheering, but we know. Someone should praise the Lord. Can I hear someone say thank you, Jesus? Can I hear someone say hallelujah? He will come. It's no doubt that he will come. He will come, and this is that fairy tale. But you know, for those who have made a covenant with him and keep it to the end, will rejoice. You see, for those who have Turn back all those who are playing with him, all those who have not given their life to God. How oh, can you rejoice when he comes? So, we have an option now whether we're going to let God be number one. You might be here. I've not yet surrendered all to Jesus. You know yourself. I can't know, tell you. You more know yourself, but you know that you need to fix it up with God. We want to pray for you today. I'm not asking you to come and be baptized. I'm saying to you, we want to pray for you today. Is that all right, beloved? Amen. 
I want to pray for somebody today. I want the person who will be doing the closing prayer to pray for somebody. Too. You are here today not yet surrender all to Jesus Christ. You are saying, Lord, help me that I will come. Speaker, pray for me today. Put your hand up. His prayer, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Keep them up. I still believe there are more that need to say, Lord, I want to come one day. I want to come one day. I, 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 I will never be asking you to come and be baptized. Not, not my business. That between you and your God. But my business is to give you a chance to choose between right and wrong today. God or the devil today. Right? And you put your hand up. Don't be afraid. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Come out and shake my hand. Mr. So ugly that you don't want shit, man. Come, beloved. Come and shake my hand. Don't be afraid to shake my hand. Come. Praise the Lord. May God bless you. Bless the name of the Lord. Come, don't go away. Don't go away. I want you to stand. Come, no, beloved. I want you to stand. Come, no, man. Anybody else? Come, no. Come out. Shake my hand. Shake man is an indication that you are saying, yes, Lord. Praise the Lord, Sister Lisa. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord. Who else? Is, did I see? Bless the name of the Lord. Rejoice evermore. Come no man. Shake my hand, man. Me not too ugly. Me can look on, man. Me hard to look on. Right? Me not ugly, but me might hard to look on. Come. Rejoice in the Lord. Go up there, man. Come. Praise the name of the Lord. Go up there. Come on, treat my hand. My brothers, sing along. Yes, he will come. Let us watch he and will come. Be ready. The name of the Lord. Come, he will come. come. Says, Praise the Lord. What the church says. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God for God. He's a, you know, don't curse me. Don't vex with me. But me see my friend in my congregation. Boy, him big on me, him tall on me, but me old on him. And him in the corner on my right hand side. Your left. Me see Joshim. Come, brother Joshim. Prayer makes a difference. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yes. Come cheer me and come up for Amen. the prayer, man. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Come, brothers, just him. Stand with them. Come, we're going to pray for you. Who else wants to come? Come. Today, I am sure it's not the first sermon any of you have heard. But today can be the last one. Yes. We don't know. But PD is coming. Brother Murray, going to do this prayer. Where is he? Elder Murray, going to do this prayer. Church of God, listen to me. Not only these who have come up, but all of us, we all need another touch from God. And I ask of you today to recommit your life to the Lord. I don't know when he will come, but he will come. 
Cause pay there. Oh, come. And if today is the last thing I have to say, whether you're ready, are you on ready? You prepare, are you on prepare? It shall appear. Brother boy. Amen. Just before we pray, I just want to let the church know that this is a serious time. There are those in the congregation, I'm observing that there are some level of irreverence that is taking place. I'm asking us to be very careful. This is God's church. And God doesn't play. When it comes down to God's business, it's serious business, brethren. I'm asking everyone from you can be able to stand. Stand. If you're not able to stand, please be in the attitude of worship. And when I say everyone, including the children, it is serious time, brethren. Serious time. We are living a very serious time. I'm also asking the prayer band members, wherever you are, to just pray a special prayer for those who come to the altar. Because, you see, we, we just don't understand the seriousness of the time, brethren. None of us know what lies around the bend. We're going to pray. And I'm asking for those at the altar to class, close your eye as we do this special prayer. Almighty God, what a day. What a day. Pay day is coming. But I thank you today that we have this moment in time to make it right with you. We thank you today for your man servant. I, I, I don't believe that there is no other way that you could have shared this message to us clear simple that even a child could understand. And so Lord, I pray today as we would have seen your people come to the altar indicating that one of these days they want to receive their reward of eternal life. I believe they would have had the understanding that the only way they can do that is by surrender all to you. And so, Lord, today I pray that as they come, that they will come with the understanding knowing that it is not the preacher who called them, but it is you. I pray there, Jesus, that they will turn their eyes upon you as you draw about the curtains of time and remind them that if it have not been for you on their side, they wouldn't be here today. Oh Lord, none of us know what the next moment will bring. But we have this moment in time. And so Lord, I pray for coverage for every single individual that may they wait to the halter today. There may be those who are in line. Oh God, we don't, I don't believe we really understand that the enemy is out like a roaring lion. But we thank you today that when the enemy comes in like a flood, you will raise up a standard against him. We thank you dear Jesus that today that when you place your blood stain burn upon your people, when the devil see the blood, you have no other choice but to pass over. Oh God, I pray today, right now, dear Jesus, that you will shield your people here today. I don't want to scare anyone, but God, I know that something is about to happen. And unless we are wrapped up and tangled up in Jesus, we'll likewise perish. Oh God, I pray that no one today will take this calling for granted.
and believe there's just another day. But today you say if we hear your voice, hard not your heart. I pray today that someone will seal their decision with you. That they will surrender all to Jesus. That someone will leave the world behind them and keep the cross before them. I pray today that someone will leave the shuttles of sin and come to Jesus who can set free. I pray, dear God, for that young man that you will cover him on their blood. I pray for that young lady that you will keep her. I pray for the children. I pray for the adults. I pray, dear Jesus, please. Work on someone's heart today in Jackson. Let no one here today work off an impulse. But they will come. Knowing that today can be the final call. Can be the final call. Can be the final call. Can be the final call for me who are doing this prayer. I don't know. But I pray that today someone will see you, Jesus, for who you are. For too long we are playing church. And we come as if everything is well. But one day, payday is coming. I pray for those who may not have the courage to come to the halter. But they are haltering between two decisions. Should I do this or should I not? I pray, Lord, that you will give them the breakthrough that they need. That they may surrender all to you. Please, God, do something for somebody today. I beg you, Jesus. And Lord, please, when time and hurt shall be no more, I pray that all that come to the halter today will be among the number when the saints go marching in. Thank you, Jesus, for the preaching of your word. Thank you for those who come. And I thank you, dear Jesus, in advance for those who will enter the grave of water baptism by walking with you all the way so that when you come, they can go home with you. Thank you for all that you have done today and for what you're about to do. In Jesus' name, let God people say, Amen and Amen. Church, say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say.